You know, I feel a lot better since I started confronting the dental office that is withholding my records, which is illegal. So I wanted to encourage anyone, um, if you have people who've stolen from you, who have um, damaged your reputation, uh, who talk to you, always treat you in a way that, that like you're less than them, if this person is not a real danger to you in any way, then I would encourage you to confront them. Now, if by confronting them, let's say, for example, it's a relative and they're going to make your life even more miserable if you confront them, then don't. But if, if it is someone, like I said, who can't really hurt you in any uh, dramatic way, then go ahead and confront them. Just remember, make sure that you're the one in the right. Think about both sides. Think about their side, especially if they have any reason to be acting like that. And remember that there are people who just can't help how they are. In fact, maybe we all, most of us can't help how we are. You know, there's there's things we should have learned as a child that we didn't. Um, and don't blame things on your parents either because you don't know how exactly they were brought up. They don't tell you everything. They, may, they might be, as they say, licking their own wounds for the rest of their life. You know, some types of trauma they might have had as, a, as growing up or as a teenager or as a young adult. So... Love people, but the ones who who just are harmful to you and other people, just love them from a distance. That's all. You can do it. You could tell yourself, well, I'm glad I'm not like them, and um, I, I feel sorry for them because they're like that. Uh, let me pray for them. Let me, you know, be polite. And uh, just, you know, keep my distance. Um, it's, it's funny how I feel so much better after uh, confronting this uh, dental office. And, you know, they don't know it. But they really shouldn't mess with, you know, someone like me who's, you know, quiet and studious. Because we just will not let this go. I mean... I'll probably take this to the grave if they don't answer me. You know, I'll just keep at it. I'll just keep writing to different universities and dental societies, and I'll, I'll put it all over the place, you know? <laughs> I mean, um, they don't realize that someone who thinks has power, but we do, and... And the most effective people uh, in the world are ones who practice discipline. I mean, they, they want to say something back to you nasty right now, but they won't. I mean, they'll think about it. But in that process, while they're thinking about it, the thing that they'll come up with to say will be so powerful, the other person will just, they'll just be speechless. Uh, especially if, uh, like me, you have um, a pretty good memory, because you'll bring back things from, you know, 40 years ago that they don't even remember, and they just won't know what to say. So what, what does this do for me? It, it lowers my stress level, because anytime I have a mental pop-up, a thought, about, you know, um, why isn't this dentist giving me my record? Is there something terrible in it that some mistake she made that can harm me that she's not telling me about? You know, I'll just, you know, come back and say to myself, um, look, uh, there is an almighty and um, doesn't matter what, what happened there because 
you know, she'll she'll get what's coming to her, what's coming to her, some some kind of experience that hopefully will teach her to be honest, to have good intentions, um, not to treat people, you know, like like they're fools and you know, stringing them along. Oh, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm going to release your record and I'm going to give you those answers to those questions you have. No. Um, and isn't it better to be in my position than in hers? My goodness, I wouldn't want that guilt. Can you imagine the dreams that I'd be having at night? Uh-uh, uh-uh. So don't hesitate to uh, tell other people, you know, how you've been treated badly. And uh, just be careful, be polite, be honest. Control what you say. And um, not only might it do things for, for your, your self-esteem, it would, would be a good example for others also. So think about that. Happy Sabbath.